a lot of the differences amongst us have to do with how we read the clues about the unanswered questions. And is it, are these unanswered questions about to be an addressed in a way that doesn't really change much? Or are they shouting out for a radical change? And I, for one, am very happy to see hints from other ideas and also involving the dark energy that's come up a little bit that there really might be a way to develop a truly finite theory and just let go of all these pocket universes and all the counting problems and probability problems we have. And the hints come from horizons. And if you, um, some of you have probably heard of black hole horizons. And there's a very interesting property that if you sit outside a black hole and watch something falling in, you will actually never see it cross the horizon. Now, with the dark energy that we've observed around us, there's another thing happening, which is a, a similar horizon is developing all around us so that we will never see, about the size of the observed universe, that we would never see something exit that horizon. Now, we... So, so the invisibility of things at the event horizon on a black hole is similar to the kinds of horizons that you envision for right. a finite another universe. Kind of event horizon, yes. Right, okay. And, and, and so what you, what you can envision is a, is a completion of that theory where there's very interesting physics happening on that horizon that actually seals it off. One of the interesting ideas associated with this idea is, is that the, um, the information and the physics needed to describe that universe is actually completely finite. There's a finite number of possible states for the universe. There's a finite maximum entropy. And most of the interesting information resides actually on that horizon. And, and in a way, the idea that there's a universe beyond there is an illusion that's created by the physics on this horizon. And it just seals us off very nicely. And in a universe like that, you don't have infinite pocket universe. You have a finite, you have a totally finite system. It's plenty, plenty big enough to describe everything we see. And the other thing. But the physics of that event horizon is not work out. Right. That's so, the speculative so I would part. Say, so I think we all are, you could take each one of us and we have the speculative part. And it's sort of which, which seems the most exciting <laughs> as, as a possible way to resolve, resolve these questions. So, so I, I find a finite universe very exciting. Although I have to say, having in early in life thought very much along the lines of my colleagues on the right here, um, I found it actually claustrophobic to, to switch <laughs> to switch from the infinite universe to the finite one, but I'm, I'm glad I did. This is beautiful. It's a much, it. much more... There's 12 steps, there's infinite universe. <laughs> it's, it's, it's working out well for me.